everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to another vlog i am in the car emma is next to me we are headed to an appointment for her and then i am headed to sam's club yesterday i vlogged as well so today's wednesday yesterday was tuesday and um i got all of my groceries from fries and from Target. However, there is some things that I need at Sam's Club, like dog food. And my dad was asking for frozen clams. He said he can't find them at any of the grocery stores, so he wanted me to check Sam's Club and Costco. So um, I figured I would go. Oh, and I need chicken thighs, because if you saw the vlog yesterday, then um, you would know that I didn't get big enough chicken thigh pack from fries so and I have a recipe that I want that includes chestnuts if you guys know the story behind the chestnuts um I found a chicken and like chestnut recipe so I want to make that today as part of this vlog and share this first time recipe let you guys know how it tastes how it turns out um, but I need chicken for that. So after Emma's appointment, we are going to head over to Sam's Club. Um, I went to the gym this morning and literally only had like 15 minutes between getting home from the gym and leaving for this appointment. So I had to rinse off really fast, didn't have time to do my hair or my makeup. That's pretty much all that we have going on. Thank you for joining me for this vlog. I am so happy that you are here. If you are new, my name is Brittany and I am a stay-at-home mom of four kids. We also have four crazy dogs and here on my channel I do like to post a variety of content, uh, mainly vlogs. That's what I've been mainly focusing on creating and posting, um, but within those vlogs I like to include shopping hauls, grocery hauls, cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, cooking, just all of the mom life and homemaker things that we do on a daily basis. So if you will like what you hear and would like to see more, please hit that red subscribe button down below. It is absolutely free and it helps my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber and friend, thank you for all of the support. And I hope that everyone enjoys today's vlog. Cheers. We are back from Sam's Club. I spent $225, $27, something like that. I got this bag of Jack Link's extra tender beef jerky and this box of Uncrustables. We are going to the lake on Sunday with my sister and her family, and I thought it would be perfect to pack some beef jerky and Uncrustables as snacks and lunch while we're on the lake. I needed to get some more Zero Pepsi for Josh. Here are the chicken thighs that I needed for tonight's dinner. Two clamshells of cherries. The kids wanted these Captain Crunch treats. They said they're really good. So it comes with 15 crunch berries and 15 peanut butter crunch. I got this honey hot barbecue sauce. I have not tried this. I've tried this brand before, which is good, um, but Honey Hot sounded delicious, so I got that. A big box of this Angus beef patties. This is the cheddar and bacon. This is the one that I wanted to get from Kroger or Fry's in my last haul, so since I was already at Sam's Club, I thought I would grab a box of that. We always take that camping as well, so it just goes in the freezer, so it's good to have on hand. This is new, haven't tried this before, but it's Members Mark Churro Style Cookie Dough and it makes 24 big cookies. Um, so I'm excited to try those. Some Members Mark Croutons. I needed more of this Lysol Laundry Sanitizer. I use that in all of the towels and bed sheets. These shirts were on sale for $6.81. It says radiate positivity. I got one for me and then one for Emma. And then I got my brother-in-law one of these boat or fish, fishing shirts. I got it for him for Father's Day. 
and then two of these um, Concord grape juices. And then I did get a big bag of dog food, which is out in the garage. So that is it for our Sam's Club haul. after 5 30 um i ended up taking a nap i was catching up on my friends videos and just kind of relaxing and winnie and i snuggled up and we took a nap so now i'm kind of like kicking myself in the butt because yesterday i had such a good and productive day and today i feel like i am dragging so, um, I am about to start dinner. The kids are outside in the pool, and so they're out there. If you hear them, like, screaming, that's what that noise is. Um, they're outside in the pool. I am letting them swim for a little bit while I make dinner. I am going to need to do a voiceover for the cooking part of the video because they are outside in the pool and the back door is right there. And don't worry, Emma is out there. I don't let the kids go outside and swim unless Emma's out there. Emma's 14, almost 15. And so she is like the lifeguard of the pool, but all the kids know how to swim. Looks like Winnie wants in. This is the recipe that I'm going to be making. It is chicken with chestnuts. Again, I have never made this. First time I am making it and I'm really excited. Here are the ingredients that you will need for this chicken and chestnut recipe. One pound of chicken breast and you will split them into four pieces, thinly sliced. I'm actually going to use chicken thighs. We prefer the chicken thighs. Here comes the dogs. <laughs> We prefer chicken thighs, the darker meat stays a little bit more juicy. Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, three-fourth teaspoon of kosher salt, fresh cracked black pepper, one tablespoon of light butter, olive oil spray, and 3.5 ounces of chestnuts, bag roasted and peeled. Here are the chestnuts that we got. This is, one bag is 5.2 ounces. It's roasted chestnuts, recipe ready, peel, peeled tree ripened for cooking, baking, and snacking. So um, these are ready to go. And then you will need one shallot, two cloves of garlic, one cup of Madeira wine. I'm not a wine drinker. And so a couple recipes back, I made Beef Wellington, Easy Beef Wellington, and I bought like little red wine bottles. So I am going to just use that and hope that it works. Um, I'm not a wine connoisseur, so I don't know what Madeira wine is and if it's any different from just a regular red wine. So 
let's just hope it works. I'm not even going to use the full cup. I will probably use only half of a cup and then a half cup of reduced sodium chicken broth. I will probably add one cup. I will flip flop them. I will probably add one cup of chicken broth and half a cup of wine. So those are the ingredients for this recipe. I found it on Pinterest and so I will have the recipe linked in the description box down below. And of course I will do a taste test at the end to let you know how it tastes and let, let you know how the family liked it and if we recommend this recipe. So let's go ahead and get cooking. saw that last clip i like ran out uh ronnie got stung by a bee it is his first time ever being stung by a bee and it got like right in between his fingers right here and waterworks freak out all of it so it took a while to get the stinger out but we got the stinger out he's not allergic to bees thank goodness um, I am 31 years old and I have never been stung by a bee, but I do have really bad asthma, so I'm more likely to be allergic to them. So I always like, I'm still scared of bees to this day, even though I've never even been stung. Um, so I had to take care of that. So it is a little bit later and I am ready to finally cook dinner. I just had to make sure that he was okay and get the stinger out. And um, now he's back out playing in the pool. Now that I have all of the ingredients together, I am here just chopping shallots. I ended up using two since I was sort of doubling this recipe. Next, you are going to grab a shallow dish and mix your flour, salt, and pepper together. Then you are going to dredge each piece of chicken into the flour mixture and set aside on a plate. You will then get a large frying pan Melt one to two tablespoons of butter into your pan, spray some olive oil, non-stick spray, and then start adding your pieces of chicken. Try not to overcrowd the pan, but sear your pieces of chicken for a couple minutes on either side until they are golden in color. You will not be cooking the chicken all the way through at this step. Once they are done searing on each side, set the chicken aside and repeat the steps for as many chicken as you are going to be cooking, making sure to add enough butter at each step as well. Once you are done searing all of the pieces of chicken, add a little bit more butter, then go ahead and add your shallots to the pan, and then add your chestnuts to the pan, and a little bit of salt and you are going to let all of this saute together for about five minutes until the shallots are broken down and tender. Once that step is finished, you are going to add your sliced garlic. I'm just using this minced garlic that I buy from Costco. 
then you're going to let the garlic cook for one minute or until fragrant then you are going to add your wine and chicken broth and let all of this come to a boil Next, you will add the chicken pieces back to the pan with the juices from the plate that they were sitting on. Nestle the chicken in the sauce to ensure it is all coated. Then you are going to cover the pan, cook all of this on medium to low for 10 minutes or until the chicken is cooked and the sauce has reduced and thickened. I decided to make some cookies from dessert, which these churro cookies from Sam's Club are so delicious. Highly recommend those. And dinner is done and ready to be served. I made some instant mashed potatoes and some green beans to serve along the side. And our cookies are done as well. <music> Josh to join in on a taste test, which he never wants to be on camera anymore, and people love you. Okay, it looks good. Josh took forever, so the kids already ate. Um, only Mia is the only one who likes chestnuts. The other kids, no, it's a no-go. I'm excited to try it. I've not tried it yet. Okay, ready? Mmm. I liked it. They're a little bit dry, but I'm glad I used chicken thighs because the recipe did call for chicken breast. If you do chicken breast with these chestnuts, I think it would be way too dry, but needs to be more sauce. I don't think I added um, enough liquid because I added extra shallot and extra chestnuts. So I think I should have upped the liquid a little bit, but it still has lots of flavor. I like it. What about you? It's not bad. I guess Bing Crosby knows what he's talking about. Chestnuts roasted on the open fire, not in a chicken dish. Okay, well, I guess I'm the only one who really likes chestnuts because to me it was... I didn't get no dance. So I guess this is like a medium recipe. I would make this again. I would. Just from one taste. I mean, I need to eat more of it, but, um, no. Hmm. Just eat your dinner. <laughs> that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.